Galileo is on its way, but satellite navigation in Europe is already a reality thanks to EGNOS. By using three geostationary satellites and a vast network of ground stations, EGNOS sharpens and secures the accuracy of American GPS signals across Europe with a precision down to the meter. EGNOS is demonstrating future uses of Galileo. Already in the field of aviation, pilots have, with EGNOS, extremely precise indications of their position in real time, invaluable when preparing to land. A precision approach made with the help of the satellite increases air security, especially for airports which are operating non-precise guidance approach systems. These new systems will benefit general aviation and business aviation as well, and safe airports will increase the development of the regions where they are located. Advantages on Europe's roads will cover much more than in-car navigation. Road haulage companies and bus operators will be better able to manage their fleets of lorries or coaches, optimizing movements, avoiding congestion and saving fuel. Galileo will introduce new ways of monitoring tachychronograph systems, thus increasing safety and also tracking stolen vehicles. Likewise, Galileo will assist maritime transport. With an estimated 50,000 ships around the world, it can contribute to safer and more precise navigation. Complementing and improving the existing COSPAS SARSAT system, its search and rescue service will detect activated distress beacons, notifying the appropriate rescue services and letting the users know that help is coming. Agriculture will benefit in the field of precision farming. 60% of satellite guided tractors are already using EGNOS, reducing driver fatigue, allowing ultra-precise tillage or distribution of fertilizers and herbicides, and livestock can be monitored at a distance. Various categories of citizens will be able to use individual handsets or mobile phones that incorporate Galileo chips, guiding tourists in an unknown city, providing real-time information on local public transport, or helping the blind or poorly sighted and assisting the disabled. Even if Galileo will be the first civilian global navigation system in the world, the use of certain so-called public regulated services will be restricted to authorized users such as governments for sensitive applications that require a high degree of continuity and reliability.